Super training gym, the strongest gym in the West. Gonna bang out some squats. A couple days ago, I did uh, some singles. Worked up to three heavy singles on a box squat with the cambered bar. Gonna use the cambered bar again today. Gonna do box squats again today. And gonna also get in the briefs. Last time I did about six plates. This time I'll probably use four or five plates and I'll probably do uh, five to seven sets or so of doubles. Five to seven sets of doubles off the box, in the briefs again, getting back in those power lifting pants. Um, I used to get great workouts that way and so I'm trying to facilitate great workouts. That's all I'm trying to really do. Get in there, get a great training session, feel strong, feel good, look good, smell good, fart good, the whole thing trying to feel good trying to go in there and feel better when I leave than I did when I walked in and so that's the mission that's the goal we'll load some weight up on the bar do about two sets per each weight at four plates four and a half plates five plates and then probably be done ski from there working on trying to rebuild and build things back up I don't have a great tolerance for uh, overall volume and stuff like that right now so I need to work on building that up that's why I'm doing six sets rather than just jumping in out of nowhere and doing 10 sets or 12 sets I'm gonna keep it moderate keep it modest and uh, go in there and, and try to bring the pain and leave the stain I'm also gonna uh, handle some a uh, little bit of farmer walk action and then after that I'm gonna do a little bit of sprinting with our new prowler and when I say a little bit of sprinting I mean a little bit of sprinting because Again, you got to adapt to all these different things that you're going to try. So let's see what happens. Here we go. What's your story? Graduated from UC Davis, studied uh, video and audio media. So what's it mean to be capturing some of the moments from the most influential gyms in the world? I had people come up to me at the Arnold say that watching the YouTube channel is what got them into powerlifting. So if we didn't have a, an outlet for media like that, you know, we wouldn't be making the world a better place to lift as easily. Do this with me, and I'm also doing some farmer's carry, so I'll make you do that. All too. right, all right. Awesome. 
<laughs> so I got these guys in North Carolina, they're new. Got them working out, they come follow me. gonna run it down and back and then I'm gonna run it down and back through that process we're somehow gonna become best friends you'll see we'll all see all right we just got done with a workout prowlered it and a bunch of other stuff made these guys do some farmer walks with me how'd you guys like to work out it was tough it was hard it, it mental was to toughness. Point, yeah <laughs> but it was good <laughs> where are you guys from we're from North Carolina Greensboro North Carolina Damn. <laughs> What'd you come from North Carolina for? Business? To train at Super Tanning Gym. Yeah, that's the only way. You came to California to go to the beach. No. You came to Tahoe to go skiing. Nope. Absolutely you went to not. a resort. No. Not a chance. You came all the way out here to see little old me? See big old you, yeah. <laughs> get jacked and, jacked and tan. How'd you guys find the address? Just looked it up online? So, a couple months ago, this one, um, he said, you know, we love super training. We follow Mark Bell. We follow the whole crew that works out here, and um, we listen to you know podcasts in the morning. Probably we're eating Silent breakfast Mike. Together. You probably follow Silent Mike. We right? follow Silent Mike. Yeah, yeah. No, we have much love for Silent Mike. Yes. A lot of people don't understand that. They think there was some big fight, but there wasn't. <laughs> we still love Silent Mike and wish him well. He's still here in Sacramento. Yep. And he um, reached out. Um, to the super training email that's listed on the website. Got in touch with Marcus. He got in touch with Marcus and Marcus Filipino said- Filipino Thunder. Th you must Filipino have caught him Thunder. on a good day. Sometimes he can be a little grumpy. <laughs> nope, he was he was excellent. He said, yep, come out and train with us. Just let me know the dates and we'll make sure it happens. So. We booked the trip and we're here on spring break. <laughs> training with what are you guys? What are you guys doing with your lives? How old are you guys? I'm 21. And I'm 22. And uh, we're students. Um, cool. I work in the, I'm a manager of a luxury hotel in Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, I'll be hitting you up. Go ahead. <laughs> well, what are you I doing? am a business and entrepreneur entre entrepreneur student at UNCG in Greensboro. Uh, formerly was a personal trainer, worked at Nike, lots of different oh, work experience. Cool. And I find that to be interesting that that's a, uh, like a major nowadays. Like, you know, now with the internet and with everything that's happening and people like myself uh, making a successful career of just stuff, I guess you'd call it. What are some things you learned in school that you're kind of looking forward to applying? You have to do what other people aren't doing. You gotta find the need before before other people recognize the need. So the examples could be the slingshot or the iPhone. They're both, people <laughs> right, didn't no. know they needed them, but when they- yeah, Thanks for comparing the two, I'll take that <laughs> as a victory. Once they once they both came out, people hopped on. There, there was a need that no one knew they had and Mark Bell found the need. They it's actually really an interesting Apple. thing. That was a very difficult thing to get going in the beginning was to try to figure out, you know, uh, how do I take this product that people don't know that they need, I know that they need it, and how do I make them feel what I feel, what I feel is true. And so that was actually a really, a really tough thing to do. And, and the way that we did it was very simple. We put a bench, we, we put a bench in and whenever we went to uh, different trade shows and stuff, and we just simply showed people, hey, this is what it does. Then people put it on and they got up off the bench and said, holy shit, this thing works. <laughs> so it was fairly simple to get the message out there, but it was kind of like one person at a time. But what I like about this interaction right here with fans is, you know, you guys, you guys were fans and now we're friends, <laughs> which is totally a different thing. You guys can text me, you guys can DM me. Hey, remember us, we're from North Carolina. I'll forget your name if I don't remember <laughs> them right now, but it's really cool to have this kind of interaction with, with fans and to be able to have a positive impact on people's lives. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. So to get you guys to come all the way out here from uh, North Carolina is, is really an honor to me. I know you guys are honored to be here, but I feel awesome about it as well. And that's why I spent so much time with you today. And that's why the crew, you know, made sure you guys were taken care of. Yeah, they're awesome. We appreciate They've it been so all much. been so great to us. And I'm glad you guys were able to see me in action too. <laughs> yeah. I don't always get a chance to uh, get after it the way I did today, so that we was kind of fun. <laughs> and then we were able to even train together, which yeah. was even cooler. Awesome. Uh, what gym are you guys at? You guys you started a, a workout type thing. Yeah. Where so, you're from, right? Um, so in Greensboro, North Carolina, we train at the UNCG Rec Center. Um, we also train at Strive Fitness and Performance, and then also at Mash Mafia. Um, with their team out there um, in their Nash. facility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. So. so thanks to some help from the people at UNCG and Strive and a little bit of help from the people at MASH, we were able to start a powerlifting club and 
the get first some, at our university. Get so. some people to come together and lift some heavy ass weights. Give me your Instagram handle so we can stick them in, in this YouTube video. All right. So mine is at Elena Works. That's E L L A N A W R K S. She was ready for that. <laughs> and mine is William K336. We're going to end on her because she's prettier than me. <laughs>